Everybody, how you doing? I am Ruben with Texas All Water Fishing, aka Fonso Brother. I am out here in the marsh today fishing with Mike. Texas Fishing Force, check him out. His link is below. Stay tuned. Thanks for coming back. Hopefully, y'all catch me hooking up. Fish on. <laughs> Huge hardhead. Man, you know what? This is my luck today. Huge hardhead on the chicken boy lure. Um, come on, guy. Relax. Ain't that great? Chicken boys catch anything. <laughs> I'm gonna take some of this chicken chit. It's garlic. I'm gonna smother it in that guy. Because we are desperately running out of time, opportunity, and energy. Finally on one. some drag out I'll let him wear himself out a little bit it's always easier in the net when they're tired Is gonna be a nice red. Let him pull me around a little bit. Giving up? You giving up yet? I think you're giving up. Oh yeah! Woo! All day! Oh my god! Man, I thought I'd have to make a video of me catching hardheads. Uh, actually, I only caught one hardhead, but still, can't ever do video on that. Oh man! Nice, nice guy. He's gonna be mid 20s. But today, it feels like my Moby Dick. Let's see. Twenty five inch red. Beautiful fish. Chicken boy lure. No, I brought the bag to keep fish today, but you know what? Since you were nice enough to bite my lure, the only fish I caught, I'm gonna let you go, okay, buddy? 25 incher. You're just a great fish, single spot on each side. We're gonna release them. There he goes. Here's what we caught it on right here. This chicken boy, a whipping chicken. Texas roach. It has been through things. I've hooked it several different ways. This way, that way, that way, this way. Right now I have it hooked, rigged. Um, 
this way just because it's so so many holes already ripped into it so doesn't matter how you hook these things up. I've had luck with these no matter how I've hooked them or rigged them up and I got on it with a uh, golden eye jig head oh it was a flounder I thought it was a crab I got him a second time. <laughs> I got that flounder. Yeah, I knew you were there, buddy. I was not waiting on you that time, buddy. I'm not waiting on you that time. I think he might barely keep, but I missed him earlier. So once I saw the way the the way the cork reacted this time, I knew he was there again. Yeah, I got him on the chicken boy shrimp came right out purple it's the water so dark so I went for a darker shrimp um, but yeah he might be maybe 12 13 inches let's see let's see he's he's really skinny I was curious to see how big he is yeah 13 and a quarter <laughs> caught you little guy Got one. Golly, don't go that way. Don't go that way. He's got me all messed up over here. It's shallow, so I'm trying to stay out of it. Come on. Come on. Oh. Got him. Oh my God. Oh. Let me get out of here. I know this channel right here into this little drain. Just wondering if there was something over here, so had to uh, had to give it a try. That's right, right here. Chicken boy lure. A little red chicken boy lure right there, corner of the mouth. Perfect. We're gonna. He's probably gonna be a little undersized. I'm gonna measure them anyway. But like I was saying, we're coming down that channel. So any little smaller channels or little drains, it's like a lot of time that's money, you know. That's a good spot to throw. Oh no, he is 22, 22 and a quarter inch red. Got some mice. 20 inch red, 22 inch red. Right there. We're gonna put them in the in the bag of ice. Fish bag, gel and fish bag. Throw them in there. Yeah. All right. I don't know why I always insist on fishing behind me. <laughs> I don't know why I always insist on fishing behind me. Ugh. Ugh. All right, whoo, this guy is probably be about 18 inches. Eighteen and three quarters, like I said, small guy. Caught him on uh, Dudley Dudley right here, purple shrimp, just let him go. He's good. All 
right, everybody, that's pretty much going to do it for us today. It's about 5.30. Uh, I was sitting at this same spot about 12 hours ago, getting ready to get in the water. Myself and Mike from Texas Fishing Force. You know, the water was kind of tricky today. It was an outgoing tide for the most part of the day, and it was really, really tricky trying to catch some of those reds. They were there. There was a lot of bait in the water, so it was a lot we were competing with. But we ended up catching and landing a few fish um, after the tide started coming in. But it was really a great day, a great time out here spending the day on the water. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and the notification button. Let you know next time we upload a video. All my regular viewers and subscribers out there, thank you. I appreciate you all. Hopefully, next time you catch me hooking up. Thanks.